been there. I'm the head coach of the UP Fighting Maroons. Growing up, we were introduced to um, uh, Chinese beliefs and we were sent to Chinese schools. Yung mom and dad ko is not that type na, you know, what would, would, would really be strict when you do something. Although, siempre, you know, they would tell you in different ways. Growing up, uh, I was not a perfect, you know, child. Along the way, um, I really appreciate yung parents ko kasi they never gave up on me and um, I felt that whatever I wanted, they just supported me. Eventually, when my parents knew that I was really into coaching, they would really support me. Even my siblings would support me uh, in coaching. One of the greatest lessons that I learned at 17 through basketball was you know, to never give up. Our coach would always instill to us discipline and um, whatever happens during a game, just as long as you know that you know, you're giving your best and then we're fine. I feel blessed to be part of this doc documentary and um, to be able to express yung sarili ko or his art. Catch me on Chinoy TV Presents, Chinese by Blood, Filipino by Heart, only on CNN Philippines. My name is Rob Bonitan. I'm the head coach of the Letran Knights. We are seven siblings in our family, two girls and five boys. Asagit na ako. And uh, typical Chinese family na natutulog sa isang room, yung magkakapatid. Once in a while, nandun yung cousins namin na uh, nag-sleep over din, kabi sa kanila. My parents are supportive uh, sa mga plans ng mga anak niya, especially to my late father na mahilig manood sa basketball, especially PBA. So, yun, uh, including my Atsis sa uh, place basketball. Lahat kami magkakapatid, naglalarong basketball. So, yun yung nag-mold uh, sa akin uh, to become what I am today. I feel blessed and uh, honored to be part of this campaign and I hope I can inspire more Chinois to be part of Philippine sports. Touch me on Chinoy TV presents uh, Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart, only on CNN Philippines. Hi there, I'm Ching Kitan. I'm considered as the Pambansang wealth coach here in the Philippines. I was born and raised here in Tondo, Manila. So whenever I go out on the street, going to school, I would hear yung mga racial slur, like for example, uh, Inchik, Beho, Chekwa, Diba Singkit. And it has been always in my mind that I need to prove myself towards others. I really work so hard. I turn night into day, day into night. I sold everything that I can get my hands on. Onto. I really am so thankful and grateful because of those hardships. I turned my pain into my gain. I turned my scars into stars rather than becoming a victim of this situation. I'm proud to be Filipino-Chinese and at the same time, I'm proud to be part of this campaign. It will promote the culture of the Filipino and the Chinese. There are a lot of good things that we can learn from the Filipino and likewise, there are a lot of good things that we can learn from the Chinese. Catch me on Chinoy TV presents Chinese by Blood, Filipino by Heart, only on CNN Philippines. I'm Beverly Lorraine Chuaho. I'm the Director for Health Promotion Bureau and the Disease Prevention and Control Bureau at the Department of Health. Growing up, um, we rented an apartment. We get uh, brought to school by my aunt um, who lives with us. We always would have baon, um, not in money but in food. And that's really because it's part of um, Pagtitipid. I also will remember that we don't have birthday parties when we were younger, except when I guess we turned one year old. And my parents would just say that it's better to share what we have for others. That was really the first few lessons of, I say, charity or generosity during that time um, that I learned from them, that it's not just about us, but really about the people around us.
I am very privileged to be part of this campaign, but also very grateful for this opportunity to promote the work that we do. Watch me on Chinoy TV presents Chinese by Blood, Filipino by Heart, only on CNN Philippines. Hi, I'm Josel C. I'm the chairman and CEO of Eber Belena Cosmetics. I was raised here. Although my background is Chinese, I still believe that we are culturalized from a Chinese blood into a Filipino national. So I blended both together to best fit of what I am here in the Filipino community and work as a good Filipino citizen. I hope my detailed uh, sharing and wisdom will help uh, our next generation uh, to know what we're doing and where we're coming from and uh, looking forward to see the younger generations. I'm inviting everybody to watch Chinoy TV Presents, Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart, only on CNN Philippines. I'm Kenneth Kabonpue, and I'm an industrial designer. I grew up into a sort of a pseudo-traditional Chinese family. My father was a traditional Chinese businessman, and my mother was working always from the house. She was a designer who built furniture literally from our backyard. Every night before going to bed, she would read stories of fairy tales and different stories from faraway lands. After I drifted off to sleep with these stories, the next morning would find me wanting to recreate these stories using the materials that I found. Since I grew up in the Philippines, everything that I know, my inspiration, uh, my whole history, my culture, um, everything that I do is inspired by the Philippines. I feel very honored and feel very proud to be part of a campaign to try to rediscover and find out what is it that makes a Chinoy. Watch me on Chinoy TV Presents Chinese by Blood, Filipino by Heart, only on CNN Philippines. Hi, I'm Camille Ko, a content creator and entrepreneur. I am of Chinese heritage. I'm of Chinese ancestry, but I was born and raised in the Philippines. All my friends know this from school. Like, they really know my parents by name because they know that my parents are so strict. They're very involved in my life. And I definitely have really Chinoy values. I grew up speaking Chinese. At home, we weren't allowed to speak Filipino to our parents. We had to do really well with our Chinese studies because my parents really feel that it's important for us to, you know, have a connection to our roots and to really not forget where our ancestors came from. I'm so happy that there's a campaign like this where we can bridge differences and truly come together so that everyone can have an understanding of this whole movement. Catch me on Chinoy TV Presents, Chinese by Blood, Filipino by Heart, on CNN Philippines. My name is Stan C. I am a sportscaster and a voice talent. So when I was growing up, I was bullied because of my name. I was bullied because I was bookish. I was considered a nerdy kid. And in a way, pag na-color ka na into your little box, hindi na nila ma-i-imagine na you can step out of your box. When I was being bullied, it was really people making me feel bad about myself, making me feel that I shouldn't have any self-confidence, any self-esteem. So it wasn't necessarily about like what I wanted to be or who I am. It was more of who they thought I was. My goal was to reinvent myself. So that's why I wanted to do everything I wanted to do. What I've seen in my career is that a lot of the opportunities that opened up for me was because I put myself out there and I simply asked, even if the opportunity didn't exist. 
One of the things I really believe in is representation. It's something that I really stood for and wanted to push for. And I'm glad that this season we're expanding beyond coverage of Chinoy's inside Metro Manila. So it's great that we're hearing all these stories because it adds more diversity and more flavor into the overall picture of what being a Chinoy is. Hi, I'm Rain Smika. I'm a fashion model and I model professionally and internationally. I got into modeling uh, when I was 15. I actually didn't expect to get into modeling. I was rather scouted by a talent agent. And when I tried it out, it, I think no one actually knew what was modeling <laughs> in the Chinoy committee. Well, I would get comments like, what is she doing? It also made me question myself, what am I doing? <laughs> I was just having fun and learning from the mentors who discovered me in the talent agency. And eventually, I found a place for myself in this confusing world. I found that modeling actually made me found this group of people where I felt like I belonged to. It's really exciting because I get to share my story to um, everyone, to the Chinoy community, and it allows me to also learn more about myself and inspire others. And I hope a lot more of the Chinois would get into the type of field I did in modeling. Watch me as Chinoy TV presents Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart, only on CNN Philippines. Hi, my name is Chris Tan. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm also a life coach and I also act and I dabble in cryptocurrency. So growing up as a Chinoy was a little bit challenging because I had very sinked eyes and uh, I would always be made fun of because my eyes are so small. So I had a little bit of an insecurity about that growing up. I also am very Moreno, so that was a weird mix and people found that very weird and made fun of that in my school. Well, the good thing about me was I'm never really one to allow anyone to talk down on me or make fun of me. I actually looked at it as a challenge to be accepted, not just by me, but by my peers and to look beyond the physical. This is something that I think is important to be able to get out there so that people understand that Chinois are also Filipinos. And we are more Filipino than we are Chinese, actually, because this is where we grew up. Uh, although we bring our Chinese culture as a part of it, our hearts are still here in the Philippines. Watch me on Chinoy TV presents Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart, only on CNN Philippines. I'm Valerie Tan. I've been a TV and events host for 15 years already. I'm also a content creator. I do lifestyle and travel vlogs. And I'm also an entrepreneur. I'm very fortunate in the fact that my parents are very supportive with my career of choice. Because as a Filipino Chinese, the usual stereotype is you're expected to be a doctor, an accountant, an engineer, and of course, an entrepreneur. But for us, me and my siblings, we all had different career paths and my parents were very, very supportive of each of our choices. So they would bring me to all the auditions and up until I was starting already and struggling to get a project on TV, they were there for me. They were truly 100% supportive and gave me 100% unconditional love and support. I I'm very lucky in that aspect. truly am humbled to be part of this roster, to share my story as a modern Chinoy, and to find representation for their own stories and their own journeys. Catch me on Chinoy TV Presents, Chinese by Blood, Filipino by Heart, on CNN Philippines.
Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Hashtag Beyond Borders is brought to you by Doña Maria Brown Rice, My Kind of Rice, from SL Agritech. BA Securities, your trading partner in Asia Pacific. Dash Cargo, propelling possibilities. When you see them develop as basketball players and also as a person outside of basketball, that gives you the most fulfillment of coaching. We would usually recruit players from the province. And sometimes, kung gagulat ka, pupunta ka sa isang lugar, you would go to a place na yung court, si Ryan Wing, yung San Cimento lang, uh, you would see in life nila was not that good, then you, we would be able to give them an opportunity to study in Manila, to train, and give that good opportunity in life through basketball. I am Coach Golden Monteverde, head coach of the UP Fighting Maroons. Actually, my mom and dad medyo extreme yun eh. My mom is parang mas, ano siya, mas uh, a little bit uh, loud, very busy. Kasi before I grew up then before kasi office namin was at the house mismo. Siyempre, my mom ko is the kind of person that, you know, really hardworking. Always in control of everything. My dad, on the other hand, mas tahimik, uh, mas reserved. Minsan ka lang makausap, but very deep na minsan sabihin sa'yo. I was first introduced to basketball by my brothers, Don Don. It was not hard for me to learn it. Maybe because, um, I mean, my dad kasi was a player before when he, uh, in high school he played for Sambeda. We would really force my dad to like play with play with us every Sunday morning. So, ganun, laging ganun yun. every weekend we would be really excited that Sunday na, wake up at 6, play basketball with my dad, eventually learn more. Toyota Crispa days pa yan eh. Yung mga sa PBA, he would, he, we would be really excited and tell him that uh, we, we wanted to watch games. That was the first time na ano, na inlabo sa basketball. It's a dream come true for me to be able to coach the UP men's basketball team. Matagal ko na siyang pangarap since I was starting coaching. I feel so um, honored. Pag nandiyan ka na sa UP, you would really feel everybody, yung support, yung vision for the team. Lahat eh, kumbaga, they're really committed to bring up the program. Build that chemistry, instilling that culture that we wanted to instill. Fortunately, then uh, we, we were blessed with you know, talented young men. Very inspiring thing to hear stories of yung sanggaling yung UP before and started 2014 in 36 years na wala championship. These things would really make you you know really work extra hard. That that you, you would really feel that the UP community wanted the championship. For 
me, what turned things around is yung, yung support ng management and sponsors na sa UP. They're really committed and dedicated to bring up the program. Kung titignan mo yung history niya, hindi naman siya yung program na dinadiretso maganda. But to be able to see an organization that too thick or thin or mababa man o mataas, they were there. In a way, hindi sila muhibitaw rin. So sa sa nangyayari, pumitid talaga sila to, to, to bring up yung, ano, yung program. We were training by five points. Then, um, si Mai Mai Kagulangan got that rebound. Shot clock was running down. He had to bring the ball out to three points, and he made that basket. Shot clock has to be set. Kagulangan. Whoa! This big, time, three. big shot on the part of Teddy Kagulangan. We made the defensive stop. Kagulangan hit a big time three earlier. Kagulangan, wide open, two. Whoa! That tied the ball game. 69 all, 39 seconds remaining. Then after that, we made another stop. Misses, rebound, Duke. My Mai had the ball. UP has it. They have a chance to win. A chance to end that 36-year title. After that, there was a pick and roll between My Mai again and um, Malik Diof. JD wants it. JD, three for the win. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, my goodness. Whoa! For me, because we were waiting for the the whole season, siguro we had biggest need was against UST. From the from the start, we had almost every game was a close game. Siguro to to some people, dapat mas malaki with the team we had. Pero on my part, we needed that experience uh, of close games. Na you know through through the season we developed. I was not feeling any doubt. Not naman that siya sabi ko. Yung Ateneo, kain, hindi, hindi naman ganun. It's more of yung dinaanan namin together against Lasalle. Like, we were down by 14 points last four minutes. And yung team was there doing their best to execute yung offense namin, playing good defense. And we managed to win that game. So, you know, habang nangyayari, I had that feeling inside me na kaya pa to. Hindi kami susuko. You know, we just keep on doing what we're doing. And eventually, uh, we were fortunate uh, to win that game. I know also love ko talaga after that shot. I was really happy. Although, as I as a person, I less expressive all when it comes to celebration. But in love ko talaga, I was really, really very happy for the team. Nalalo ko yung flight ng bola. I was asking myself, ano to, dire, diretso ba to? Or, then, umasok. I mean, ang pinaka-reaction mo natin, ganun lang din. Save it all! You can't write it any better than this. Winning that championship, siyempre, I had a lot of respect for Coach Tab, the Ateneo team, yung program nila. And to be able to win that game, it meant a lot. I remember... I was standing sa may, ano, sa may sideline or baseline at that. Seeing yung mga players jumping, hugging each other, looking at the crowd, everybody was, some of them were crying, some of them was really, you know, celebrating. One of the happiest moments of my life yung, yung nakita ko. Lalo na yung mga players really achieving what, ano, kung whatever we work hard for. History in the making! The three-pointer that has given UP oh! the first title since 1986! Science guru, Destiny kasi, I define it as, you know, giving my God to you, God's will. I've always believed in that. If we practice 5 o'clock, they would be there like 3.30 or 4 o'clock. They would practice shots, they would practice moves, they would practice their skills, repetitions. And even after no practice time, we would start by 5, we would sometimes finish by 7.30 or 8 o'clock. They would stay behind and practice more. Sa akin kasi, ang basketball, you would, you would do a lot of repetitions. Instinctively for me, instinctively, even his shot, nung he went out for that shot after a rebound when, when shot was winding down. Babagalobas lang whatever he was practicing or the team was practicing the whole time during their career. Hindi ko rin kasi matanggal yung thanking God for this championship. For this young man who never gave up every game, 
I feel really very grateful and happy. Coaching in the UAP, so uh, you'd be coaching against great minds, great coaches. While competing with them, you'd, you'd, you'd be learning a lot of things also. And for me, you know, para mag-learn ka, kailangan talaga mag open ka sa lahat ng bagay. Yung hard work talaga, talagang yung paghihirapan mo. My siblings watch the games. Uh, every time when I lose, they from my dad they will send me text. Binibiro nga nila ako na, oh, parang hindi na si mami ang ano, mas ikaw nang nakikilala ngayon. Parang ganun, parang easy as that. Pero I feel that they're really happy sa, sa what I, whatever I achieved. Uh, I felt that they feel proud sa na-achieve ko. And um, I want to thank them for that. Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Hashtag Beyond Borders is brought to you by Cardinal Santos Medical Center Evergreen Cereal AgriPro Premier Nutrition Inc. Global Diesel and GU Engineering Nation Paper Products and Printing Corporation Ford Tractor Philippines, your long-term agriculture partner. Japan Parts Trading Center. Dash Cargo, propelling possibilities. For your copying and printing needs, it must be sharp. Philippine Seat Yok Song Lin Musical Federation Association. Vespo Pipes and Lutonic Air Purifiers by Tech Global Incorporated. Chua Beng Tang. Alejandro Ko. Jimmy C. Nang Family. Enrique Chua. Li Pui Chin. Albert Ko. Stephen Sia. Rosalina Yasai. Anson Tan Sherwin Choi Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart Yeah, ever since nung bata pa ako talagang uh, basketball talaga yung uh, ang nilalaro ko ay ang pinangarap ko. Marami naman dito sa sa, sa Pilipinas na bata na talagang uh, gusto maging player. So, yung love ng basketball andun na nag-start, nakita kong uh, wala naman ako mapupuntahan sa PBA. Then uh, I concentrated on coaching na rin. My name is uh, Bonnie Tan. I'm the head coach of the Letran Knights. I was born of Chinese descent. Uh, pinalaki na ako dito sa Pilipinas, embracing the Filipino culture. Uh, dito na ako nabuo sa pagkatao ko. We are seven siblings in our family. Two girls and five boys. Masagit na ako. Typical Chinese uh, family na natutulog sa isang room. Yung magkakapatid, uh, siksikan. Yun, mga, kung ano yung pinapanood ng mga kapatid ko, uh, siyempre head namin, achi namin. Yun din ang pinapanood namin ng mga bata. Yun, yun mga create ng special the memories. Uh, my parents are supportive uh, sa mga plans ng mga anak niya. Especially to my uh, late father na mahilig manood sa basketball. Especially PBA. Yun, uh, including may Atsis sa uh, place basketball. So, yun yung nag-mold uh, sa akin uh, to become what I am today. Mam ko, uh, para silang business-minded ano, person. So, sa business lang sila, nasa real estate, sa auto shop, may, may hardware din kami. So, yung typical Chinese na businessman. Yung sports sila talagang uh, on the side lang naman din na sinasamahan kami pagka may mga games na nanonood sila. 
hindi naman hindi ko dinidictate ko dapat namin gawin. Kung ano yung decision namin na gusto namin, yun yung uh, sinuport nila. It all started sa dad ko, uh, sa may late father. May, eh, talagang mahilig manood ng basketball. Pumupunta kami sa games ng PBA Live. Uh, kung hindi naman eh, uh, yung TV namin, iisa lang dati. So kung ano pinapanood namin ng dad ko, eh, panay basketball. So doon talaga nag-start. No? Makakalaro ko sa labas, basketball na nilalaro namin. Eh, nakikita ko nag, kahit pa paano nag-excel tayo compared sa kabats natin, sa mga classmates natin, sa mga kaibigan natin. Doon yung nag-build ng confidence sa akin na uh, baka ito ang basketball ang sports ko talaga. Ito yung passion ko, ito yung uh, uh, direction ko na pupuntahan. Pagka-player kasi, if you want to pursue yung basketball career mo, you have to join talaga yung uh, varsity team ng uh, school. No? May coach that time was uh, Coach Alfa Sischua. Yun yung nagpagaling, yun, uh, yun yung nag-mold sa amin kung, uh, kung nasaan ako ngayon. Naglalaro rin ako sa Filipino Chinese Leagues. Nasa Manila rin yun, locate, uh, yung mga venues doon, so active din ako doon. Uh, I still remember, no, during my freshman year sa UST, uh, I got a call from uh, former athletic director ng St. Stephen that time, uh, si Mr. Lim M. Peng, to join yung sa St. Stephen na uh, coaching staff. Doon nag-start and um, that time I was like 18 years old, first job ko, first ATM ko na nakuha ang card. Inaccept ko yun and uh, ano, practical eh, kasi additional allowance ko after my coaching job, sa akin naman na naglalaro naman ako na sa Manila rin areas, no? nandun yung mga YMCA venues namin. So, ang lapit lang, nandun na, na nag-i-evolve yung, yung buhay ko before yung uh, when I started coaching. Basketball naman, uh, alam nila na uh, one of my passion talaga is uh, to play basketball, at least basketball related. So, wala silang naging against sa pag -e enter ko ng basketball coaching. Medyo napapalayo rin tayo sa mga masasamang bisyo doon pag Before 1991, magkasama na kami na nagsama as magkalaban ni Goldwyn. Uh, 1989 noon, he was playing for Uno High School. Uh, ako naman uh, uh, playing for Grace Christian High School. So doon pa lang mag magkalaban na kami and magkakilala na kami. Then 1991, Nagsama na kami sa first coaching job ko. Uh, nauna siya sa akin. I believe second year na niya doon. So naging part ako, naging uh, coaching staff ng St. Stephen. Doon na nag-start lahat ng uh, coaching career ko. Then tuloy-tuloy na kung ano saan napuntaan ko ngayon. As a coach, no, I believe in involving all of my staff, not only the players. No? At gagawin ko what it takes to develop lang no, yung uh, winning attitude ng, uh, ng grupo. I coach LPU for four years sa NCAA during their uh, probationary years. Yeah. After 2014, nag-concentrate ako sa PBA as a team manager ng uh, Global Port then. But now, ano na siya, North Port na siya for five years. Before, I entered uh, Letran uh, College 2019. Siguro mag, uh, because of coaching job ko sa Lyceum, magkakilala na kami, then they need the coach. Swerte kami na we were backed up by uh, uh, our uh, main sponsor, main supporter na si SMC, headed by uh, sports director Al Francis Chua. Doon nag-start yung uh, Letran na uh, coaching career ko. Pagdating ko ng Letran, ano na eh, adyan na yung mga players and uh, yung la, mga previous uh, years nila, semis lang yung uh, pinaka mataas na na-reach sila. Yun, uh, next nun is uh, playing for the championship na and sinuerte lang na during my first year na nag-champion ka agad. Yun, doon nag-start yun yung uh, Letran na talagang may good problem na kasi maraming players sila doon. Malalim kasi yung uh, alumni ng Letran. Uh, nasa 400 years na yan. So talagang uh, players na dumarating at dumarating. 
finalizing lang yung sino yung uh, gusto mag-champion na players. Yun lang yung naging uh, trabaho natin. Ayun yung magandang uh, part doon sa Letran nun. Kasi during uh, nasa LPU ako nun, uh, talagang always nasa underdog side ako pa natin ng team. No? So ganun din yung sa Letran. At least uh, alam natin winning team yung Letran. Pero yung naabutan ko nun na uh, at this uh, hindi wala uh, wala pa sila sa semis lang siguro yung pinaka ano nila ang favorite noon was uh, yung San Beda yung uh, Grand Slam champion noon that time so medyo na lessen yung pressure doon eh at least hindi team to beat yung Letran after noon yung nagchampion na tayo yun doon na, 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 na napunta yung pressure sa atin yung to, itong last season lang na, na kasi naging team to beat na kasi sinasabi nga nila na walang import na na That time yung Letran na nag-champion pa. What more ngayon na all Filipino na yung uh, last season. Sa mga players ko, parati ko sinigiremind lang na to play every game like a championship game. Uh, yun, yung sa back to back kasi hindi namin naiisip pa yun eh. Kung baga, nangyari na lang yun dahil uh, yung mentality namin na one game at a time lang ang uh, isipin natin. So eventually, na doon nag-end up, no? nag, uh, nag back to back. Normally, I write down my goals no, sa organizer ko and um, gusto kong cross out yung mga, mga na-achieve ko na. So, with regards to sa, sa coaching career ko, sa tingin ko, I'm done na by that time, 10 years from now. Siguro maging part lang ako ng isang uh, sports organization na uh, we can develop and discover uh, players pa rin. No? I think uh, I'll be happy na by that time. Basta nandun pa rin tayo sa sports na na love natin, which is basketball. Scripture ako na favorite na Do not fear, only believe. Uh, Mark 5.36 na I always share to my players and uh, sa mga anak ko. Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Hashtag Beyond Borders is brought to you by Cardinal Santos Medical Center. Ever Belena, PG Flex Linoleum and Maruyama Tarpaulin, Evergreen Cereal, AgriPro Premier Nutrition Inc., Global Diesel and GU Engineering, Nation Paper Products and Printing Corporation, Ford Tractor Philippines, your long-term agriculture partner. Japan Parts Trading Center. Dash Cargo, propelling possibilities. Phil Flex Wires and Cables. Chua Beng Tang. Alejandro Ko. Jimmy C. Nung Family. Albert Ko. Stephen Sia. Rosalina Yasai, Lee Hongming. Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. When we see more Chinois in sports, it would encourage more younger Chinois to pursue whatever in heart nila through the field of sports. It would encourage them, encourage parents also to give more support sa mga anak nila on what they want to do. Actually, sa mga schools na nakita ko naman, I've been around din sa mga Chinese schools. Uh, I see a lot of schools really, you know, supporting sports. Before, usually PE lang. Now, may mga programs na like yung mga, yung mga parang special training for basketball, special training for swimming, for badminton, for volleyball. So, That kind of support na nakikita ko from some school definitely will bring up more Chinoy athletes. Maybe sa mga um, international competitions, 
who knows it, maybe the Olympics next time, represent the Philippines to win as a gold medal. You just keep on pursuing, developing, and encouraging mga young Chinoy artists that we have. Yeah, honestly, uh, Chinois sa Philippine sports, uh, hindi masyado tayo well represented. Kasi mga typical Chinese, uh, after college, they help their parents na do their sa mga, sa business na. So yun, sana hopefully uh, we can uh, develop more Chinois na to represent uh, uh, Philippines as sports. I think it's great that we have more Chinoy athletes because when I was growing up, my only Chinoy athlete was Chris Tu. He was the only person I could think of when you say Chinoy athlete. It was really just him. But seeing that there are other Chinoy athletes not named Chris Tu, I think is great for everyone. People like Justin Chua and the Tang brothers, for example, seeing them play in the PBA is great because it means that uh, we can also excel in other fields. Someone like EJ Obiena, for example, who really made waves when he represented the Philippines in pole vaulting, uh, I think is great representation for us because I think there's also a little stereotype na ang Chinois e pang akads lang or pang business lang. It's very empowering for the next generation to come after us because they can see na I can be an EJ Obiena too. So to see more Chinoy representation in athletics, that's a step in the right direction. It also reinforces na pag Chinoy ka, you really consider the Philippines to be your home. Kasi you're representing the Philippines. When you win a medal, you don't just win a medal for yourself as, as the Chinoy athlete. You win a medal for the Philippines. And that goes a long way towards breaking the misconception that if Chinoy, ka, you have loyalties to China. So all of these things from telling other people that Chinois can also succeed in sports to showing the next generation that this is a path that you can pursue to showing the world at large or showing the Philippines at large that you represent the Philippines, plain and simple, that's a very powerful thing that Chinoy athletes have done for all of us. A modern Chinoy would speak his mind, speak his heart, would do whatever is needed to accomplish something, would always express whatever is in their hearts. And that's for me a modern Chinoy. Mga modern Chinoy uh, today, uh, and pa rin naman, hindi pa rin sila nakakalimot sa mga Chinese cultures, uh, mga values na uh, iniwan ng, uh, ng mga parents sila. Uh, pero nakakasabay pa rin sila sa uh, makabagong panahon. For me, the three important values that a person would have would be, would be discipline, hard work, and being humble. First, um, yung respect. Respect sa elders natin, sa mga parents natin. Second, pagiging compassion, compassionate natin. Yung showing concern sa, sa mga nangangailangan. Uh, last, yung uh, courage. No? We need the courage to move on in our daily battles sa buhay natin dito. Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Hashtag Beyond Borders was brought to you by Doña Maria Brown Rice, My Kind of Rice, from SL Agritech. BA Securities, your trading partner in Asia Pacific. Dash Cargo, propelling possibilities.